Heart and Vascular Center is here to talk about coronary angioplasty procedures for National Heart Month. And I pronounced that you perfect. Did. Yes. That's absolutely perfect. <laughs> it's the first hurdle. <laughs> now we want to talk a little bit about something called atherosclerosis and why that is dangerous. You hear about it a lot. Yeah, you hear about it a lot. So atherosclerosis is very simply a buildup of cholesterol in the artery wall. Mm -hmm. And if you have atherosclerosis, you have it in two flavors. So the first flavor is where it builds up very slowly over time, the cholesterol in the artery wall. And once it blocks about 80% of the blood flow, you begin to get symptoms like chest pain or shortness of breath when you exert yourself, for instance, going up a flight of stairs. Okay. The second flavor can happen almost with any level of cholesterol buildup, so even very early. And it's when the artery becomes inflamed. So it's very similar to if you got a splinter in your finger and it became red and inflamed. Sure. The same thing can happen in your heart artery. But in the heart artery, when that happens, it can result in a sudden clot formation and complete Oof. closure of the artery and cessation of blood flow. And we all know that very well as a heart attack. Yes. Now, talk a little bit about this coronary angioplasty, because this is a procedure for it people ha who have this condition, correct? Absolutely. So it allows us to fix both of those varieties that I just told okay. you about. So angioplasty is simply a procedure where we are able to open up a blocked artery and restore blood flow. And we do this through something called a catheter, which is simply a hollow tube mm -hmm. that's placed either in the artery of your leg or your arm. We advance it up to the heart, and through that we can advance the balloon and expand the balloon, reopen the artery, and restore blood flow to the heart. Generally, after the balloon procedure, we place a stent, which is a small metal tube, into the artery to help mm -hmm. the artery remain open. Talk a little bit about the procedure itself. How difficult is it? What, you know, what's the recovery time for someone who has to go and have angioplasty done? So depending on whether we use the arm or the leg, we generally tell people not to use that part of the body for two or three days. Okay. But in terms of recovery, there's really not much at all. It's, mm, a, really? it's a very, very easy procedure for the most part with a very low complication rate of around 1% 1 1 or less. So that's great news. It's great news. And All we've right. come a long way with angioplasty, so we can do a lot more than we used to. We open arteries now that are 100% blocked and have been for years. So, Oh, wow. So that is amazing. All right, Dr. Thompson, thanks so much for coming out. Thank you. All right, Steve.